The U.S. State Department's designation of atrocities committed against the religious minorities of Iraq and others uh, is an important step forward for the international community. To, uh, this brings to attention the issues that have been around again and perpetrated against them for, for decades. This is what we see today uh, committed against the minorities is a, a long-standing mindset and ideology that has been the, around under in the system of Saddam Hussein and Bashar al-Assad uh, in Syria and in ISIS uh, today. Uh, the Iraqi minorities uh, uh, moving forward will need uh, continued humanitarian assistance because the magnitude of the problem uh, is huge and it, the, what has been provided is still below the need. And uh, there is a likelihood of a protracted displacement, so the humanitarian uh, relief will be important in that sense. But the protracted displacement could also give us uh, issues of tensions with the host communities. After liberation, uh, the, the return of people will not be easy for a number of factors. Uh, one of them is related to just to the massive destruction that those areas ha have witnessed. Second, because of the uh, improvised explosive devices that have been planted. And third, because of the security concerns that those, uh, th those internally displaced people will have, including the religious minorities. Uh, the risks coming from the potential for revenge violence, coming from communities who have sided with the different uh, actors in this conflict. And and there is also there will be competition for scarce resources, uh, and there will be pro issues of property and uh, other other kinds of um, infrastructure problems that uh, will cause uh, um, you know, tensions among those communities. So stabilization and reconciliation work will be necessary to address those that and make the return of those uh, uh, displaced people uh, a long-term uh, and a sustainable solution.